Coming up on WSRH Sports, we find out how our girls volleyball team did against the Dwyer Panthers. Also, we find out how our cross country team has been preparing for the season. Plus, how our JV football team crushed it at their jamboree. WSRH Sports starts now. Welcome to WSRH Sports, your leading sports coverage here at The Ridge. I'm Abby Duran. And I'm Alexis Coffey. Today is Tuesday, September 10th. We've got a lot of sports to talk about today, but first, today's top story. Last Wednesday, our girls varsity volleyball team took on William T. Dwyer. Were the Lady Hawks able to take down the Panthers? WSRH sports reporter Kira Taub has the play-by-play. -play. Summer Ridge Hawks girls varsity volleyball takes on the Dwyer Panthers. Let's break it down. Abby Chinley bumps the ball to Tyler Warman, who sets it back to Abby, assisting her to a back row kill. Capri Corey receives Dwyer's serve, passing it to Tyler, who bump sets it back to Capri, spiking the ball, leaving a Dwyer player on the ground. Abby Chinley starts the play by jump serving. Dwyer gets it back over when Emma Ginther passes it to Ivana. She sets it up to Abby Venero for a big middle kill. Dwyer's tip gets received by Abby Chinley, allowing for her sister, Inara, to set Kyla Wallace for a spike in Dwyer's face. With the end score Hawk 0, Panthers 3, Abby Chinley ends the game with a total of 9 kills, along with Emma Ginther ending with 10 digs. For WSRH Sports, I'm Kira Top. Our cross-country team has been training hard to prepare, prepare themselves for the season. WSRH Sports reporter Matthew Mearswell has more on the story. Going into this year's new cross country season, they have so many new additions to the team, including brand new impact transfer joining the team. Ben Ogle is an incoming junior at Sumridge High School from Atlanta Christian Academy. It's his second year doing cross country and has big expectations for this year. The expectations for this year is, I think it's going to be a pretty chill year. Nothing, help, nothing has happened yet, but I feel like it's going to be pretty exciting. Ben is excited for a fresh start with a new school. With my experiences moving to this school, I feel like it's definitely a new experience every single time I do something, especially with cross country, moving teams, and just overall different people. With this new addition to the team, there are many opportunities for a great season with their next meet, the 14th at Cardinal Newman. For Demonstrate Sports, I'm Matthew Mirasaw. Last Saturday, our cross country team had their first meet at South County Regional Park for the Cobra Invite. Let's see how the girls did. WRSH sports reporter Savannah Mazio has the play-by-play. -play. Our varsity girls cross country team traveled to Boca Raton for the Park Vista Cobra Invitational, going against teams from all over South Florida. Haley Good taking the lead for the Hawks with Riley Shop not far behind. Next comes Haven Berryhill and Shayla Stillwagon on their way to mile two. Haven Berryhill finishing first for the Hawks, running a 29-20. Haley Good not far behind, running a 29-53. Next comes Shayla Stillwagon running a 31-07, and Riley Shop running a 32-51. And the last Hawk to cross the finish line was Lily McAllister, running a 36-47. For WSRH Sports, I'm Savannah Mazio. Great job, girls. Let's see how our boys did. WSRH Sports reporter Reagan Bresnahan has the play-by-play. Last Saturday, our varsity boys cross country team kicked off their season with the Park Vista Cobra Invitational in Boca Raton. The team is led by junior transfer Ben Ogle, who competed at States last year. Sophomore Tyler Liu is another standout returner for the Hawks. Ben Ogle takes an early lead getting in front of the pack. The rest of the team follows closely behind. The next two miles, the team falls to the middle of the pack with Ben Ogle and Tyler Liu neck and neck in front. With a time of 23 minutes and 6 seconds, Ben Ogle finished first for the Hawks, but 142 out of 200 runners. Tyler Liu followed closely behind with a time of 23 minutes and 30 seconds. Next came brothers Jacob Lugo and Jaden Lugo. Jacob finished with a time of 24 minutes and 11 seconds. Jaden finished behind him with a time of 32 minutes and 55 seconds. For WSRH Sports, I'm Reagan Bresnahan. This past Wednesday, our JV football team had their first jamboree at Park Vista. Were the Hawks able to take the win? WRSH sports reporter Bella Savoya has the play-by-play. -play. Hey Hawks, tonight our Seminole Ridge JV football team starts off their season with the jamboree game against Palm Beach Central and Park Vista High School. Let's take a look at some highlights. The jamboree starts off with Palm Beach Central and our very own Seminole Ridge Hawks. 
Palm Beach Central starts off with a 30-yard run, leading the Broncos into a touchdown. The Hawks bounce back with a long run up the sideline, number 24. Broncos defense stays strong against our Hawks. The Hawks have an amazing touchdown by number nine, leaving the score 14-13. As the next quarter begins, our Hawks stay strong on defense. The Hawks begin in their second game against the Cobras. The Hawks start off strong with a kickoff return straight into the end zone by number 24. Shortly after, the Hawks keep on the rain with a two-point conversion. The Hawks continue dominating with a QB run into the end zone for another Hawks touchdown. With yet another two point conversion, leaving the score 0 to 16 Hawks. Continuing the stride on, the Hawks score another touchdown on third and goal. Another two point conversion leaving the score 0-24. The game ends with another quarterback run into the end zone, leaving the final score 32-0. Amazing job, Hawks. For WSRH Sports, I'm Bella Smith. Thursday, girls golf had a match at Madison Green. Let's see if they could swing down the Wellington Wolverines. WSRH Sports reporter Kylie Jones has the play-by-play. -play. Yesterday, our girls golf teams Challenge the Wellington Wolverines at Madison Green. We pick up with Annika Colada with an iron on the fifth hole. She sets up this long putt, but unfortunately doesn't drop. Then with her next shot, she easily taps it in. Litter sister Sienna unloads with a great shot with an iron, followed by Tamson Lee at the fifth hole with a beautiful form with the driver. She picks up with her iron and sends it into the rough. The next shot landing close to the green, which sets up this wedge shot and, and an easy put in. Overall, the girls played well, but unfortunately fell to the Wolverines with its score of 220 to 204. Annika was the Hawks' top scorer with a 40. For WSRH Sports, I'm Kylie Jones. The Hawks varsity football team played Spanish River on August 30th. Did the Hawks take home a win? WSRH sports reporter Haley Allen has more on the game. Seminole Ridge played against Spanish River on Friday. In the first quarter, Spanish River was up seven points with an 18-yard pass to Rashid Lamar. Garrett Rimes had an 18-yard run in the first quarter. Willie Young had a 60-yard run in the third quarter. During the fourth quarter, Seminole Ridge managed a 13-yard touchdown. Ending top three offensive players led to be Garrett Rhymes, Willie Young, and Rasheed Lamar. Player of the game being Garrett Rhymes with a total of 152 passing yards. Final score was Spanish River 27 and Seminole Ridge 23. For WSRH News, I'm Ray Taking a look at this week's sports, Tuesday, the bowling team has a game at Bolero in Jupiter at 3 p.m. Also, girls volleyball plays home versus Martin County freshmen at 5, JV at 6, and Varsity at 7. Wednesday, the bowling team has a match at 3 in Jupiter. Thursday, the girls' volleyball team has a home game versus Park Vista, freshman at 5, JV at 6, varsity at 7. Friday, varsity football has an away game at West Boca, kickoff at 6.30. Good luck, Hawks. 
Well, that's it for WSR Sports. I'm Abby Duran. And I'm Alexis Coffey. Remember, you can follow us on social media, on Instagram, Twitter, and YouTube at Seminole Ridge TV. Have, Have a, a great, great day, day Hawks. Hawks.